Um, so tonight we have, uh, first and foremost, Neil Hamburger. Why? Why was the cat so small? Why? Well, because it only ate condensed milk. <laughs> For the catch, come on. <laughs> we'll get back more to the filth that you people want. Huh? This really shows the difference in the moral character between cats and humans. And that the humans won't laugh at that. That was a good joke, folks. <laughs> and tell something about somebody, you know, shitting into a bowl, <laughs> serving it up at, uh, you know, a Taco Bell, then you'll all laugh. I know. <laughs> Pricks. Right, here's one for you. Oh, which cat should you never play cards with? A cheetah. There we go. What? What do you get? What do you get? What do you get when you cross a hockey mom with a pit bull? Well, apparently a Down syndrome baby. <laughs> It's the pause button. <laughs> okay. This party's really cooking, huh? Hey, can you try some of the cakes and pastries and pies? We've got a T-bone steak and some coffee and all available over there. Get over there and enjoy these wonderful uh, examples of uh, why this is such a great country, huh? Have, have some cake, huh? So we took on a fucking cake that these people spent some money on. Cats can't eat it. We already have a couple of diabetic cats. We're not going to give a cake to the fucking cats. You eat the cake, huh? Get over there, somebody. Don't let it go to waste. That would be a crime. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> Boy. Hey, um, hey, did you guys hear what happened? I don't know. It's in the news. Do you guys have a newspaper in Burbank? Or just an isolated community. <laughs> well, if you, if you don't, you got to get one. You got to get a newspaper. That's where all the, everything's happening in the newspapers. I, I have a regular round on, on, on Sunday nights. I go around, people put the papers out for a second. I get them all the two, one and two week old news. And this one was in the news here. And so this is somewhat topical. I do hope you appreciate topical, up to the minute jokes on it. What's going on in today's political scene? Did you guys hear about uh, what happened when the uh, the cat went to the flea circus? No, oh, he stole the whole show. <laughs> well, we do have some other jokes. What a great night, folks. Everyone that's enjoying this series, this is the first uh, in a long uh, series of uh, performances here at the Cant Hotel. Tomorrow night, if you can make it, if you're not working, you can come out at 8 o'clock, Three Dog Night is playing. <laughs> uh, all the big kids, Joy to the World, One is the Loneliest Number, they'll be playing. And then um, next, uh, next Thursday, I think it is, we've got uh, a special treat. It's Paul Revere the Raiders. With Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. So do shopping if you like the oldies but goodies. That's what I do. Here's this next joke was submitted to me by one of the cats. <laughs> Usually I don't take outside material. This young cat was one of the kids. We really, really felt that this joke should be told, and uh, well, I gotta do it. If you don't like it, you know where to file your complaint. I didn't like it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little, uh, little calico.
code kid. <laughs> Cage number 9A. This joke. Still unnamed, this wonderful kitten. And but it's up to you to name this kitten. If you like the joke, I'll speak to the good folks here at the front desk and say, I would like to adopt a little calico kitten, 9A. Budding joke writer. <laughs> and just an all around wonderful kitten. I have a great future ahead for this kitten. Soon to be a cat. <laughs> and it, it can be yours. I do hope you adopt this one, also some of the other wonderful, wonderful kittens I've gotten to know and who submitted some of these jokes over there in page 9A. Here's the joke from a, a good friend. Why did the judge dismiss the entire jury made up of cats? Well, because each of them was guilty of perjury. <laughs> Direct the applause over there. Cage and nine. They're not cages, they're condos, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, here's another one for you. This is uh, from the real sweet black cat with deep, sensitive eyes. I don't know if you looked at this cat, but it, it, you, you look at this cat and the cat is looking right into your very soul. And yet this same cat submitted this joke. Why did the cat put oil on the mouse? Because it squeaked. <laughs> well, I'll go back to my jokes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> Better luck next time. Huh? <laughs> What's the best thing to come out of the Osmond family in the past two decades? <laughs> A stillborn. <laughs> Why did recently burned Blick 182 drummer Travis Barker, why did his body reject the skin graft that he was given? Well, because there weren't enough shitty tattoos on it. <laughs> We're going to leave you with one last thought on your way out as you grab adoptable catch in each hand. <laughs> and also, can we ask everyone here tonight, this is not the normal uh, nightclub sort of venue, so uh, we do things a little bit differently here. And on your way out uh, at the front desk, I'll give each person a couple small Ziploc bags. If you put those into each of your pockets and then scoop some of the cat shit and uh, <laughs> push uh, into the bags and take them out and just drop them in one of the uh, public trash cans along the Magnolia as you go to your car. We re really appreciate that, folks. It would really be wonderful if you could just do that for us. Here's one last joke for you, folks. What a great crowd. We'll see you here uh, next uh, two. When is the Michael McDonald? We'll see you here December 5th with Mr. McD. Here's one last joke for you, friends. <coughs> Why? Why did, um, <clears throat> why did E.T., the extraterrestrial, love Reese's Pieces so much? <laughs> well, because they have the same flavor that cum does on his own planet. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben Uh, Neil Hamburger, thank you very much. I, I only you. hope uh, that this can happen again, and next time we'll have the litter boxes more, you know, clean in advance. No, that's okay. I'm used to that. Thank you. Thank you.